hello, hello. My name is Mugawa Girl, but you can call me Demi, and welcome back to yet another After Talk video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the race of, um, what was it again? The races of April the 10th. So, those races, they were... One of them was very early and one of them was very late. So, I'm going to go into the order of when they were held. For me then. Um, so we're going to be talking first of all about Formula 1, then Moto 2, then Moto 3, and then Moto 3. Yeah. Alright, let's go. So, Australia. We went back with Formula 1. We went that back again. And, um, yeah. It was, it was alright. At first they had four DRS zones, but then they changed it um, on Saturday. On Saturday to uh, three DRS zones, so yeah, so it's back to normal. They changed the layout of the track a bit um, to make it a bit safer. Uh, that was also the reason why it wasn't on the calendar last year uh, because, like, it's it had some maintenance to do. But anyway. It was a good race. Well, not for the Max Verstappen fans, uh, or the Carlos Sainz fans, or the Sebastian Vettel fans, because those three DNF'd. In the order of Carlos Sainz, then Vettel, then Max. Um, Sainz DNF'd due to um, uh, a do or die action, a uh, do or die move. <laughs> And he got stuck in the gravel, unfortunately. Sebastian Vettel went over the curbs a bit too much and banged into the wall. And Max Verstappen's engine just gave up. Um, the podium is George Russell in third, ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Perez in second, saving the honour of Red Bull. And then Leclerc in first, of course. I mean, Ferrari are back. I mean, what, what else can we expect? Come on. Um, Daniel Ricciardo actually finished the race in the points. So, um, going to McLaren was a blessing for him. Curse is broken. Uh, Alex Albon scoring his first points for Williams in only the third... third race of the season. Like, how? Williams took, like, till the last race before the summer break last year with both drivers. Um, yeah, lots of things that happened and we'll go over that at the end at the meme review because I have been scouring my Instagram for some memes. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go over that later. Uh, what are the surprises? Um, well, in the points, kind, um, not much except for Alex Albon for pitting on the last lap making his own one and only fix up on the last lap like everyone else pitted like way early and Alex was like yeah I'm just gonna keep on driving I'm just gonna keep on driving the tires yeah they're, they're good they're good like how the race was 58 laps he drove 57 laps on one compound tire didn't even box in that time like that just says a lot about the driver honestly like he is a tire manager. Manager, come on. Um. Yeah. Hamilton fourth. It's alright. Um. He uh, Hamilton actually had some issues. Um. Well, no, not actual issues. He just had overheating, but that was solved during the race. Uh, I am now currently seeing that P3 to P5 are just all British. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> um, Daniel Ricciardo, 6th, Lando, 5th, uh, which is also good. Uh, Lundstroll actually got a penalty for weaving on the straights. Um, yeah, this was not a good weekend for Aston Martin. I hope that next week, Next race weekend, which will not be this week, but the weekend after, because it's Easter. Um, 
at the time it will be Easter. <laughs> I am hoping that Asa Martin has have, put, have brought themselves together. Like, finally winning some races and such. But now we're gonna go up to Moto 2. Yeah. Moto 2. My god, that was an amazing race. Like, I loved it. I loved that race. Uh, results. There were some issues with our uh, Sega Sports, because we watch it on Sega Sports now. Um, the Moto Motorsport, MotoGP, because uh, Eurosport doesn't have it anymore. But we'll go over that later. <laughs> this race was crazy. Let me count how many DNFs there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Only two people who finished the race were not in the points. Yeah. Craziness. So, um, basically what happened was, uh, there was a pileup. Well, not a pileup. Um, the start of the race was alright, but at turn 12, for people who know the Circuit of the Americas, you know that there is a, um, a hairpin at turn 12. And someone, or either one of Gabriel Rodrigo, Santa Van Gorbeck, Son uh, Som Chancha, Sam Lois, or Fermin uh, Aldegue, some big names, sorry. Um, either one of them hit one of the others I just named and caused a five driver, cr uh, five driver crash. Uh, two people were brought to the med center, uh, Van de Gorbeck and Rodrigo. Santa is Leclerc fit. Rodrigo, I believe, is not. Uh, wasn't Leclerc fit. But yeah, that's. Uh, that wasn't good. And he's a teammate of Bo Benchnider, so that's also not good at the same time. But anyway, the. Mm, Next driver that didn't cr that did crashed uh, was Simone Corsi. Um, he la uh, he crashed on. Uh, he crashed in the third one, third third lap. Um, Alessandro Sacconi, I think he just was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Go into the pits. I'm done. Uh, Pedro Acosta actually crashed. Um, Celestino Vietti crashed from the race lead. Then a few laps later, Aaron Kinnett crashed from the race, re uh, race lead. Nicola Antonelli, teammate of Vietti, was like, yeah, not gonna happen. And just retired. And then the home hero, the pole man, on the last lap, Cameron Beaubier. So sad. He also crashed. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, Philip Salaj got points. Barry Baltus got points on his return. There is one American who did get points. That's Joe Roberts behind Bo Benschneider. Bo Benschneider got seventh, which is good points for the team. The winner was one was one, someone who had a maiden victory. Tony Abelino. And in second place we have Ayogura and third Jake Dixon. So basically, um, with Jake Dixon there's also like a curse, curse I should say. Um, whenever you got in strike of getting podium, like whenever he was like first, second or third, he would crash out of the race. But he didn't. Today, uh, that day he didn't. He just stayed on the bike. Uh, Marshall Schrutter, fourth. Um, any rookies? Uh, Manuel Gonzalez, 13th. Um, and that's it for that. Yeah, that, that, was, a good, that was a good one. Um, now we go to MotoGP. Because that one is the next one. Um, the winner was Nea Bastianini. So he's back leading a championship, I guess, I, I think. Second place, Alex Rins, and third, Jack Miller. The retirements 
are Marco Bizzecchi and Alex Marquez. Now, uh, we don't know exactly what happened during the crash of Alex Marquez because there are no, there's no footage of it. But I did read on the official uh, MotoGP Twitter that he got brought to the med center and has been declared fit. So that's all good. Um, yeah, Bizzecchi, of course, rookie. Rookie mistake, unfortunately. Did you, Antonio, um, did you, um, Darren Binder, 20, uh, the 22nd place, Fabio Didi Antonio, 21st, Remy Gardner, 20th, and Raul Fernandez, 19th. Those are the rookies. <laughs> the rookies are always like at the back, I feel like. Um, Mark Marquez, let's talk about him. He returned. Yeah, he returned. He's been declared fit. He had been declared fit um, before. Oh, between Argentina and this race, but Horace, uh, oh, uh, bad luck struck him on the race start where he stalled and dropped back to the last place. He had, an, he had like an entire race of, an, it, he just had to, you know, get back to, to the podium, and that why well, he had a good starting position. So yeah. Um, sixth place for him. Not bad. Unfortunately, no donuts. Um, uh, world champion Quattraro. Seventh. After a battle with the eight-time world champion. It was one moment where I thought, like, yeah, they're both going to crash. Because they both, like, hit each other. That was a scary moment, but also fun. Um, Benaya, he got P5. Joan Zarco. P6. The Aprilias both did well. This time it's Vinales ahead of his teammate Alex Spargro. Um, Andrea Dov Joseph with the last point. Um, who said that to me? Well, you tell me. Of course, Andrea Bastianini. Of course. I mean, he is doing so well compared to last year where he had just a few podiums. Now he's now he has two victories and the championship lead, I believe. Yeah. But anyway, without further ado, let's go to the Moto 3 and then we can go to my Instagram to see like all the other things. So uh, this race wasn't actually broadcasted on the Zigo uh, on the Zigo Sport. So that was a bummer for me. Like I really wanted to watch. I really wanted to watch it. But yeah, it was basically because uh, NASCAR or IndyCar, whatever you want to call it, um, was on there and my dad wants to watch it. So I actually watched this race with English commentary, which I'm kind of used to. Um, here there are one, two, three, four, five, six DNFs. Um, the first DNF was Joshua Watley. Um, I think he just retired. Sergio Garcia, he had a crash first and then retired. Then Matteo Bertelli, a rookie. Uh, he crashed. Diogo Moreira, the Brazilian, who was having a heck of a race. He was doing so well. But he crashed, unfortunately. Uh, and then Kaito Toba and Daniel Holgado crashed in the last lap, last corner. But Holgado, being the kind guy, uh, saw that Kaito Toba was underneath his bike and helped the marshals lift the bike up so Toba could escape. <laughs> uh, Anna Carrasco, the only woman in the field, on the last place. <clears throat> the... The battle for the lead, it was like, at the end, it was like seven, dri uh, seven drivers. Um, I'm counting Holgado with that, uh, not Holgado, but Morera in that too. So the battle was between Masia, Fugia, Minho, Sasaki, Onchu, and Artigas before Morera crashed. Um, I was really hoping that Onchu was going to win, but he didn't. He so deserves that. Um, yeah, I am praying for a victory for him, because he deserves it so much. 
mainly because he's as old as me. <laughs> Not just that, but he's also my he's my favorite in the Moto three. Just saying. The winner was Helmut Mastia. In second place, Dennis Foglia, and third, Andrea Mignot. Um, Andrew actually got fifth. Um, even though he had high speed, he he couldn't do anything against the slipstream. The slipstream is so is like strong in the Moto three. And they, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just like that. But now we're gonna look at the means. So um, I will go and fire up my Instagram because I got. Uh, I think I only have MotoGP uh, Formula One means. Some of them are MotoGP related. But yeah, we'll go to there uh, right now. So see you in a bit. So right over here, we have our first one, which is from WTF1 official, and it says, uh, "Sonoda claims Gasly is like a girlfriend or boyfriend, um, because their their relationship is close." Next one is this, which I won't give any sound, but yes, yeah, all teammates banter. I love that. You know, the love is still there. Love is still there. The next one is one we would all understand for this weekend. When you don't have your glasses on, you see it's an Aston Martin. When you have your glasses on, it's trash. I'm so sorry, but this one is just emotional damage. So sorry for that. Um, yeah, this one. Alex Albon drove. 57 of the 58 laps on the hard tyre before making a pit stop, it resulted in his first points for Williams. Yes. Yes, that is. It's great. And some, um, that's actually not Formula 1 related. But someone actually says, how come he didn't just got the extra lap? It would, I would imagine his tyres could survive one more, even if it was 10 seconds slower. Well, that's the thing. Because you need to make one tire change, uh, well, compound change. So you can't be like, oh, the hard compound tire is the best. I'm going to stay on it forever, for this race. No, no, that is not how it works. Basically, how it works is you need to make at least one compound change. If you remember the 2020 uh, 70th anniversary Grand Prix, Max Verstappen had the same thing. Uh, the hard compound tire was the best for him. He won that race on a hard compound tyre, but he actually made a pit stop to switch to another tyre, different compound. Uh, I believe it was like medium or something, and he drove like one or two laps on it, and then came back to get another set of hard compound tyres fit on. So he actually did complete the regulations. So yeah. Um, in between, there are like a few other things like this. You know, I'm... I'm an encounter fan, as you can see here. But yeah. N nice to see that F1 brought subtitles back for this season. Zoom. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Just zoom. <laughs> Alright. This one has actually some context. When Aston Martin mechanic... Uh, Aston Martin's... Aston Martin and mechanics, when they have to do the, when they have to, do, when they have to repair the same car they fixed yesterday, so true. Ah. You know, it's, 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 it's so frustrating, you know. <laughs> um, but here comes Sebastian Vettel. Watch here somewhere. He comes. There he is. There he is, Mr. Scooter guy. He actually got five, uh, five. 5,000 fine. Thank you, Euros. Yeah, I love that. I could just click through. George Russell. Double George Russell on the hashtag Australian Grand Prix podium today. Yeah. There he's on the screen, and there is the actual George. So good to see him on the podium. Yeah, he deserves it. He's, he, George is now second in the championship standings. You can imagine. Can you imagine him standing there, with with the championship trophy in his hands? Can you imagine it? Because I can certainly imagine it. I can. Okay, 
Gaius is always there. Lana talking about his bad haircut and Daniel being Daniel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely being Daniel being Daniel. Next one. Um, speed versus reliability. Two different experiences at Red Bull and Mercedes at, um, at and Mercedes this season. Would you rather have a fast car or a reliable run? Uh, one. Christian Horner said, "I'd rather fix uh, a fast car than try and make it reliable than try and make a reliable slow one fast." And George Russell says, "It doesn't matter how fast your car is." if you don't make it to the end. That is true. That is true. I mean, look at look look at um look at uh, look at uh Alex Alpin. He started at the back because he got disqualified. Which I believe I have a meme about it somewhere, but I don't know. Can't remember. But yeah, um he had a slow he he had started from the end, but he worked his way back up and got a point. Welcome to the first McDonald's here in Jeddah. How can I help you? Can we have two McChicken? Um, I don't. I can't remember what it is. I'm not. Oh wait, that's that one. I'm not gonna do that. All oh, right, this one. I love this one. I actually want to go and ride this thing. I mean, look at his face. Look how happy he is to be there. <laughs> He's not happy. He's like so underimpressed. But that's Kimi Raikkonen. That's Kimi for you. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> we all love his attitudes. Imagine showing these pictures to a fan in 2021. Ferrari winning. Ha uh, Gunter Steiner being happy. Lewis Hamilton on the Sa Saudi Arabia going great. I couldn't keep up with the has at the end. The power they have. Yeah, yeah, imagine. Next one. Leclerc and Verstappen finding out that the new Melbourne layout has four DRS zones. Yeah, unfortunately, it got turned back to three. Perfect corner doesn't exist. Well, have a look. It does exist. Look at that. Perfection. Pinpoint precision. Oh wait, have a look at this face cam. Uh, at this face cam, he's trying to das. Look, look. Das gone wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Next one. We finally know what happened in Monza almost three years ago. <laughs> look, it's sad. And Lando on his little on his little scooter. <laughs> Who the hell is driving Lando's car? Yeah, ask ask me. You tell me. Norris on the Alpine livery. Terrible pink and blue car. Was a lot higher than us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. I love this one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I love this one so much. Blink. I hope there was no beer in that, or like any fizzy drinks in like cans, because that would be horrible. Albon doing the whole race on one set of tires. Yeah, that's definitely Checo. Like, like Max and uh, Lewis were like on were on the radio last year, year saying like the tires are dead, and they aren't, and they weren't like even five laps into the race, and and like at the end of the race, Checo was like. Yeah, I can go another race on these. Just like how? Tire management, my right? Um, Verstappen and Leclerc deciding who will go first over the DRS line. No you, no you, no you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. European fans realizing the race will start early in the morning. Yeah. I actually, my sister actually went up for uh, in time for the race, so she knew what happened at the start, and we had to like rewind it to the start and yeah, watch it then. So like at twelve p at twelve 
o'clock, we knew what happens. Yeah, kinda. F, Romeo and Juliet. I want what these two have. So this, this girl here, that is Lando's girlfriend. And they were having a little photo shoot. I'm in love with this couple. Yes, we all are. Verstappen, frustrating and unacceptable DNF. Let's see what he has to say. Oh gosh. Well, we are already miles behind, so I don't really even want to think about the championship battle at the moment. I think it's more important to finish races. Yes, of course. Of course, today was in general just a bad day again and not really having the pace or even managing my tires, trying to just bring it to the end because it looked like quite an easy B2 anyway I and I knew that I could not fight Charles so there was no point to try and put pressure on him but yeah we didn't even finish the race so it's pretty frustrating and not acceptable are there any more? teachers you can't hear images me I can 100% hear this and this right here is what it says yeah that's so not right <laughs> um huh i'm home alone Vettel. yeah <laughs> i think i have more of them oh yeah general ricardo fans celebrating is just everything this was on a subway someone filmed this on a subway and they're just battling they have like a cardboard face on him of him so yeah yeah i wish max was like that look mum no hands <laughs> that's just amazing uh, i think i have more um oh yeah i have this one how is gonna be during australian grand prix qualifying i sleep yeah because qualifying was at 8 8 a.m. for me. Now I have another one, which is this. Name three Australian animal. The koala, of course, the kangaroo, but the third animal is a honey badger? No, that's not Australia. Daniel. Daniel is an animal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I have more. I've got so much. I've got this one. F1 2020, uh, F1 2022 in a nutshell. Yeah. Do, 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 do. It's all in a nutshell. Has 2022. <laughs> Have another one. POV, it's the Australian Grand Prix. Yeah, because it's on the other side of the globe. Um, but here comes Sebastian Vettel. <laughs> there are more. Um, oh yeah, here. Vettel joins MotoGP. Look, here he is driving with no hands. They actually use an old picture because Valentino's in here. And Danny Pedrosa. And Jack Miller is not even at Ducati here. Paul Spargo's not even at, at Repsol, so they use an old picture. Not good. That we skip so yeah this is again the same meme when you don't have your glasses on you would say that it was a pasta accident man maldonado but when you do have your glasses on it will be nicholas gotifi latifi so yeah this ha this happened during uh qualifying and basically gave lance Stroll a three place grid penalty which wasn't even useful because we already started at the back of the grid um and caused the first red flag of the qualifying. Do I have more? Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> relatable. <laughs> Please help me. And there's Russell, uh, Perez, be like, yeah, I'm gonna go as well. Uh, I think that was it. No, that was not it. Look. This one is my favourite. <laughs> the same coming in between. 
Yeah, th this one. This is a good one. Look, he's there. And still using an old picture because he is um, our Mr. Quattrara on the Patronus. And Dofi here with Ducati. And Petrucci is still there. And Zarko is not even with Ducati. So they use an old picture every time. Um, we have more. This one. This one is my favourite. Out of all of them. Just look at the dog. You know, like... Whee! <laughs> I love that one. Um, and then we have here the smooth operator. Oh, and this one. Ferrari drivers before! Ferrari drivers now. They're wearing a banana and a Christmas suit. <laughs> but that is gonna be all for the meme review. And... Uh, for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Saturday is going to be a very exciting video. Uh, I'm going to be upload. Uh, there will be a video uploaded where I did a parkour uh, thing with Ben, which already is already on his channel. You can already see his perspective because he uploaded it on Monday for um, for the Monday community. And I will upload it on Saturday so you guys can see my perspective and um, there will be also there a link in the description to take you to that video, uh, or not the video, but to the download. It's Minecraft Bedrock, it's called the Bedrock Parkour. I am really excited, I was really excited, but also I was frustrating because I hate parkour. I actually got better at it uh, because of it. But yeah, that's it for, for this video from me for now. Leave a like while you're at it, subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you guys on Saturday. Bye! Oh, and also worth mentioning, next week there won't be an after talk video because next week there's no race. Yeah, it, it will be the week after. Yeah, it, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It, it's Easter, so drives want to have Easter as well, so yeah. Bye.